How's it going? Not too bad, yourself? Oh, doing pretty good. Some minnows? Need some minnows. You guys got any chubs here? You bet. Beautiful. I think they're $1.75 a piece or okay. $12 a dozen. Okay, I'll take 12 then. Okay. Um, I guess just kind of mix up the sizes. Okay. And then maybe two scoops of minnows. All right. Good time. What's up, MFers? Hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. I'm still out here in the middle of uh, Narnia. I'm, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Today we're doing some more ice fishing. I'm up north. Obviously, we have sexy waterways back behind us. This morning, I hope you guys liked that video. Probably the last video in this series went out and smoked some big old crappie. A couple nice perch too, and we're gonna eat those guys up for dinner now. I think what we're gonna try to do here today is do a bit of pond hopping. There's all these lakes up here just on the side of the damn road to check out. We don't have this kind of stuff in Nebraska. I'm actually in South Dakota right now. So we're gonna kind of jump around, see what there is for fish at these lakes. This one actually is much bigger than it looked on the map and something that sketched me out. There's open water right up there right out there, but there is some people fishing there, so I feel a little bit better about it. Obviously, safety is uh, the most important thing when ice fishing, but let's get the hut, the sled, the auger, everything out onto the ice, cover some water, hopefully catch some slotches. Let's do it. What do you think, guys? Should I move it or leave it? Just a highway. I should be fine. Just a highway. Screw it. Let's do this. I'm definitely going to throw the old ice picks on since there's so much open water. I don't care how many people are fishing out here. This is sketchy. So it turns out I'm dumb and I was coming down the hill, <laughs> dumped my entire minnow bucket. So now we got the slush water action, probably kill all these damn minnows. I'm just the dumbest human being alive I think sometimes. But hey, we drilled a hole and now we got water. What a friggin' disaster. Did I mention I'm hard on things guys? Yep, that's what you want. That's definitely what you want. Hey, it still works. All right. All right let's give this spot a whirly twirl. Right, time to get this uh, this party started. This this show on the road. A little bit of everything. Decided to go with two dead stick minnows between here and the road over there. And then I'm going with the uh, the jigging a spoon with a wax room right here. It's about 11 feet right here. It's about 11 feet of the second hole, about seven feet of the first hole. So once it drops off to about 11, it seems like it's pretty flat. Might have to cover some water at this little pond to kind of figure out where the fish are, but I like how it looks. Definitely looks good. My buddy Ethan, gummy worm boy, told me to stop here. So shout outs, Ethan. I suppose there's only one thing left to do and that's catch them. Let's do that. All right, move shop. We were having some commitment issues with the uh, old uh, spoon and a waxing worm. So we're gonna downsize to Mr. Teardrop and waxing worm. Yeah, let's do it. Well, these fish are just like taking turns coming up to investigate my bait. So I'm feeling like they're either really, really small or really, really finicky. Kind of got the general Thought in my head they might just be really small, especially because none of my bobbers with minnows have gone off and my dead sticks over there. I'm thinking about putting a tip up out with a chub on it, see if we can't get a bigger bait going, especially because I dumped half the damn chubs on the way out here, because I'm smart. There we go. We got something going on here. First fish at the new lake. Okay, now it's deciding to pull. What do we got? Oh, hell yeah. Sexy perch guy. Ate the old dead sticked minnow. Definitely not a giant one, but that dude is uh, gonna be a delicious meal. Be nice to add to our couple of crappie perch from earlier tonight. Hell yeah. I'm starting to not to feel too great about it, and then boom, all of a sudden out of nowhere, we got a patch. Oh, hey, a fish. And he's on. Okay. We found the hot hole. Oh, big perch. Hell yes. Sick. Man, I'm freaking getting jacked right now. Our perch are growing. This is the first time I've ever, like, caught... I caught two perch last time. In the last video, it was the first time I ever caught perch through the ice, which is weird. They're, like, one of the most popular fish to target through the ice. Oh, we got one on over here. Oh, he dropped it. About just had ourselves a little double perch going on. Anyways, that was so rudely interrupted. I was telling you guys that uh, these 
are amazing eating they're like walleye so they're going to be an exceptional addition to our little food tonight oh jesus God. these things are freaking insane i can't even get down there fast enough first i didn't want anything to do with it now it's as fast as i can get down there little guy we need more like those guys. I've been trying to set up a damn tip up over there in shallow water, hoping to get a big walleye or pike or something for about the last 20 minutes. But every time I get ready to go over there, one of these two rods goes off, which is a good problem, right? All right, we're gonna run over and put the tip up out and see if our damn rods are even still there when we get back. We only got far to go. This fish are just out of control. Okay, tip up deployed. Time to see if our rods are still here or if our bobbers are still up. I'd be shocked if I have a bite head. Okay. Yep, another one. Come on, be a big. Another decent one. We're not going to keep this guy. He's close, close, but uh, not quite as big as those guys. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Oh, and then that one comes off. That didn't feel small. God. Trying to rig another rod, and they're freaking tearing it out of my hand. Yep. Ah, they're not big. They are fun. Man, that guy's like, nah, he ain't big enough. Could keep a lot of these, honestly. There's not a length limit. Good God. Did I finally hook one? Might I actually finally hook one, guys? Oh, there go my Cheetos. Oh, yeah. That's a better one. That's a damn eater right there. About a 10 to 11 incher. Not a giant giant. My Cheetos are flying away. There's still a couple left from the bag, so we're gonna chase them down after we unhook this guy. Yeah, he ate it deep, like you want him to. Add him to the, the eat pile. Pow pow. Okay, MFers just got to a new, I'm not gonna call it a pond. Huh? We talked about doing some pond hopping. This is a damn lake. This thing is big. I don't know if it's nice and safe because out there a little further than you can see, there's freaking water, open water everywhere. So I wasn't planning on staying the first pond that long, but those perch were super freaking fun. I added three more. Two of them were really good size. One of them was all right size uh, to our little uh, fish fry, fish filet, I guess, tonight. We're gonna take them home, cook them up. But yeah, let's get the truck unloaded and uh, see if it's safe enough to fish here. All right, through the old ice spike ruse back on. Let's see how thick this ice is. Man, I hope it's good. This is a badass looking lake. Well, that's grass. We got a grassy lake. All right, badass. We got plenty of ice, five, six inches. Let's unload and do it. So we only have about 90 minutes to fish this one before dark. Yeah, I did bring my headlamp, so we got a little bit of light once the sun goes down, but not a lot. This lake is probably like four to 500 acres, so it's definitely gonna be way more than we can cover in like 90 minutes. And that part looks beyond sketchy. I don't like that. Let's drill some holes there. So this spot definitely froze after that spot did. There's a nice brake line here, but again, we still got four inches, so let's keep on. Okay, just put the transducer down. It is only two feet right there. Water looks super clean. Oh yeah, you can see the, uh, the grass underneath. Let's go further out. This is one thing I noticed. There's this big, nice looking point right here that goes all the way out into the lake. So let's go out on that a little bit further. I don't know how deep it actually gets here, but uh, I don't think we want to be in two feet. Tip them up, deployed. We're just gonna kind of work around this point. The water is crystal clear here. So, I mean, I don't really know what that's gonna mean for bites, but I would think the way this point's set up, there's gotta be some around it. Well guys, I am currently filleting up some fish that we caught today behind the Dollar General in the parking lot because there's lighting. I'm not sure if this is legal, um, don't really care, but uh, we're gonna place some fish up on the uh, the top of this Rubbermaid tub right here. Is it legal to do this? I don't know, I don't really care. I think you just do this type of thing when you're in South Dakota up here in the north, I don't freaking know. You guys tell me all the time I've made it, it's so awesome I do this full time and I guess there's nothing that proves I've made it more than filleting fish in a Dollar General parking lot. These two fish right here, perch and crappies, 
maybe two of the best fish you could possibly eat. This can be absolutely delicious. You guys might be wondering what happened at the last lake and uh, why I'm here right now and didn't show anything from the last lake really. That's because I never caught a fish at the last lake. I never even marked a fish at the last lake and it wasn't due to uh, lack of effort. I freaking, I walked around probably like two miles drilling holes and searching for fish. It just didn't happen and I guess that humbled me a little bit. Everywhere else I've been so far this year, I've freaking smashed them, so it was bound to happen at some point, right? All in all, can't complain. I got freaking perch like this, 13, probably 13 to 14 inch perch, super fat. Absolutely love it. These are going to be delicious. I'm not cooking them up in this video. I'm going to take them home. Miss Millican Fishing definitely needs to uh, be eating some of these guys. These are going to be absolutely freaking delicious. But yeah, like I've been saying all these ice fishing videos, please let me know. Drop a thumbs up, comment down below who you want to see me go with, what you want to see next. We're going out fishing again tomorrow, and I got a special little guest making a road trip up here. Just do a little bit of fishing. We got a half day tomorrow fishing a brand new lake tomorrow. Going for something big. We got crappie, we got perch. We got the little stuff today, eater stuff. Tomorrow, I want a trophy. So we're gonna spend a hell of a lot more time with tip-ups, bigger bait, bigger lures, whatever it takes to get the job done. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this video and efforts. Catch you guys very soon. Out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.